Hi my blue lovies, this is Drea and I'm just going to talk to you uh, remember about doing the do it your own crafts. And this is one of the crafts that I was talking about. So I went to Walmart and you can purchase these wooden crates. Um, they look like the old milk crates that you used to get when you were, I don't remember what age, but I used to get them. And I think it was like $12 and these are great for displays when you go to craft fairs because they add a little bit of pizzazz and that's one thing that you learn when you do these things is people like to see flashy things. So your display is everything at a craft fair. When you have it and it looks nice and very pretty, it kind of makes people want to stop and look. I learned that um, a lot of the women would stop and look at my drawers. So they would come in and ask me, and they'd be like, did you paint this? And I'd be like, I would say, actually, yes, I did. So they would stop and they would ask me about my drawers and then I would start talking to them about my leggings and whatnot. And then I would end up selling them a legging or two, or actually I would upsell them into buying my kimonos. And we know that the kimonos are $40. So I would talk to them about my kimonos or I talked to them about my maxis, leggings, so you get my drift. So anything that's eye popping and, and stuff will give people a stop at your, at your um, booth. So, Point of the matter is, you spend a little money to do craft crafts, and it ends up being something that will get people to stop and get people to look. So these crates, they're um, kind of sort of expensive at the first, eleven dollars. So in order to get them to look very flashy, you're gonna have to paint them obviously and do it. Now if you were just to stain it, it would look nice, but I like to paint them. So the very first thing that you have to do is you're gonna have to sand it. Um, I like to use a sander, so if your husband or your dad or whoever has a sander, it's a lot easier. Now, you don't have to, you can use just like regular grit paper, it's just gonna take a lot longer. Um, the outside doesn't really matter as much as the inside, so just kinda of sorta of rub your hand against it and feel like where any of the, the nicks are. So if you see, you see a couple nicks here, right here is where there's going to be more issues. So um, I'll make a couple of videos so that way you guys don't watch and be like, oh my god, this is long. So very first step will be to sand all of these nicks down. Because I like to do um, is um, leave my leggings open. I don't like to have them in the plastic barrier because it's just kind of like a turn off. Um, they don't get to touch and they don't get to feel it. So go ahead and sand. Very first step. Very important. Okay, ladies, the next installment in my series. Okay, so I cheated a little bit. I'm not doing the one that I um, have to sand because I haven't sanded it yet. But the next step would be to go ahead and um, pick out the colors that you're going to do. So the colors that I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to kind of do a play on the little row symbol. So I picked out kind of like um, pastel colors. So I'm going to do the um, faded kind of antiquing color. So what I do is I'm going to take this color right here, the brown, and kind of be playing it into um, to make it kind of pull the color up. So what I do on, with that is I just kind of sort of paint it on where I, where I want people to see it. So let's say I kind of wanted to show here, I will paint on it here, and then I'll paint on the edges, because that's kind of sort of where you see, where you see kind of like the old pieces coming through. So you just kind of paint it on wherever you want to show the old things coming through. So technically you'll see it on the edges. So that's kind of sort of where you're gonna want to paint it on. So edge, 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 edge. So that's kind of sort of where you're gonna to want to do it at, excuse me. And of course, I have a bunch of parchment paper. So always cover, because this has candles, always cover this stuff up, and then just kind of sort of paint everywhere you're gonna see the edges. And again, like I'm, I'm gonna keep the video short, so go ahead and just start painting everywhere you're gonna antique it. So I'm gonna start painting it up, and then I'll show you what I kind of looks like after it's done. So pick it, your colors out where you want and don't be afraid. 
that's kind of sort of what I do. Don't be afraid if you make mistakes, you don't like the color, you can always paint over it. That's the beauty of this thing. Never be afraid. You don't get it right the first time, you can paint over it. So when I meant about antiquing, this is basically what I meant. You just basically take your um, brown and you pretty much color <laughs> the whole box. So I just basically took the brown and I just colored all the box. And I just took it around and literally painted all around it. So you just I literally took it everywhere. And I don't paint inside the box, you can, but you, people are really gonna look inside of it. They just kinda wanna see the outside and it's gonna make it flashy. So the, the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start painting the colors on. Once that's dry, you paint the colors on top of it. So then I'm gonna take you know the colors that I showed everybody. And this process is really messy, so you know, don't wear your finest clothes and don't do anything else. So then I'm just gonna pretty much take the colors and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna paint it on there. Now, I'm not gonna take the colors onto the sides, so you're gonna wanna decide what's gonna be your main color on the sides. Um, the other one though, I am gonna be able to wrap it around, on this one I'm not, so. Um, I'm probably gonna end up doing blue, just cause blue is my favorite color. <laughs> That's just what I'm gonna end up doing. You can pick pretty much whatever color you want. So, I'm just gonna get to painting now. Okay guys, very quickly, I just want to talk about what I meant about tinking. See, I pretty much finished painting the front parts, the different colors. Um, the lighting kind of sucks so you guys can see it. I pretty much did it all. But what I'm talking about about our tinking corners are, see, so um, the brown that I painted underneath I want to bring it up to the surface so basically all you do is you get a wet rag you wet it up it's pretty wet and you just kind of rub so you're just going to apply some pressure and you rub and now you're going to see the brown underneath so you pretty much you you rub on all the spots that you want to bring out the brown that you have underneath so you just kind of take it and you rub rub all the areas that you want to get off the paint so you can see the color underneath and you, you do kind of have to apply from pressure um, you know I can't really do it too much by holding the thumb so you just kind of rub 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 and then you you can see you get that kind of look that you want to get so you just kind of do that all over wherever you want to get obviously you don't put where you have a different color on because then you'll kind of get bleeding. If you kind of do that, you had to push this I painted or way earlier. So if you wanted to do that, you kind of go as you color. But you just kind of go like that everywhere. Everywhere you want to go. Now this one has to push really hard because I did that way earlier. But see, it'll still come up. You see, I just have to push really, 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 really hard because I did that way earlier. You see, it's coming up. But basically, that's what you do. That's kind of sort of the process of antiquing. You just kind of push hard and it'll come up. Just keep going until you like the process that you see. I'm just going to stop now because it's really, really late already. But you just keep going until you like the color that you see. And then if you don't like it, like, that's kind of sort of light. I don't really like it. I'd probably paint over it just to get the color that I like. But I do like the end right here, so I'd probably keep that. But this one, eh, don't really like that, so I probably paint over it. Get a color that I do like, and then um, stick with it. I don't think I like the dark darkness that I had here. So I could just, hey, I don't like it. Let me start over, get a color that I do like, and then do it. That's the beauty of this stuff. You can paint over it, don't like it, paint over it, start over again. It's just a little time consuming, but the more you do it, the better it'll turn out. But here, so you can see it kind of sort of in the light. Alright guys, hope you kind of sort of like it, and then I'll do it again um, when it's all finished.